In this video, we're going to go over a series of tips as it pertains to window cleaning. In particular, we're talking about optimizing the time it takes to complete a window cleaning appointment. So the first tip, the one that's consistent all, all throughout these, uh, the other uh, time-oriented uh, optimization videos for the, the different services is if applicable, if we're working in a two-man crew, you know, the crew leader and the, the field service technician, that helper, there's always something to be doing, uh, you know, to do so that we can push the appointment towards completion. So if you're the helper, that means get the equipment out, you know, get the safety stuff out, the, the ladders, uh, if applicable with window cleaning, it's more like the water-fed pole, the filter, the signage, put the signage out. There's always something to be doing. If you're the crew leader, you know, knock on the door, help the, uh, you know, help your helper get the stuff out, the signage out, etc. You know, there's always something to be doing, so be productive. Um, otherwise, you know, it's, it's a waste of time and it's counterproductive. It's not working towards the end goal of completing the appointment while maintaining quality. Um, so the second thing after helping uh, to get the stuff out at the start of the appointment is if you're getting on the roof or working from a ladder, make sure you have the equipment um, before you climb up. So if you're getting to the second story, uh, you know, to clean a certain uh, window that's a difficult place and we can't reach from the uh, the ground floor, you know, make sure you've got the water fed pole, for example. So make sure you've got the equipment when you're on the inside cleaning windows, same thing, you know, before you climb a ladder, make sure you've got the belt with the equipment that you need. Um, if we're cleaning eyebrow windows, so that means a window above that's positioned above another window or a second story window, uh, that's just a straight shot where the second story is above the first story window. Um, so you know, just straight up, like it's a, it's a wall, second story window, first story, clean the second story portions or the eyebrow windows, the higher windows first, so that they drip onto the first story windows or the windows below them. Um, and it doesn't matter if that they drip on them because the second stories are clean and then all the water is rinsing onto the first story, which we're going to clean right after. So if you're spending time cleaning the first story or the windows below the eyebrow windows, you know, the first level, it's counterproductive because we got to clean the second story and the water, the dirt, it's going to rinse down onto the first story anyways. So it doesn't make sense. Don't spend a bunch of time cleaning the first story windows if we got to clean the second story windows. So do the second story windows first and then the, and then the first story. Um, next thing is walking back and the forth, uh, back, back and forth between the truck and inside the house or the truck and anywhere else on the property is a waste of time. So it's not getting you closer to completing the appointment. So minimize how much walking we're doing. It's counterproductive. If, uh, at minimum, it's not productive. Um, the next couple things are if you're cleaning interior windows, make sure you have everything that you need prior to stepping inside. So that might mean, you know, you need the belt with the equipment that might be, you need a step stool. If you're, uh, you know, need some help reaching taller windows, that might mean, you know, you have the ceiling fan duster. Make sure you have all of the applicable equipment. If you're walking inside, you know, try to enter that house once and complete the appointment. Uh, otherwise you're walking back and forth with the truck because you just forgot something and you shouldn't have done that. It should be in your belt. You should have gotten it before you walked inside. So that's a huge uh, time savings. The last thing or the couple, a couple of the last things are going to be, if you're cleaning interior windows, clean an entire room at a time. Uh, same thing goes for a, a given window. If we can knock out a given window without having to come back to clean the track or, you know, to touch up something, you know, touch up a, uh, uh, towel mark on the window, you know, it's saving a bunch of time. So ideally clean a whole entire room at a given time so that we're minimizing how much walking we're doing back and forth between rooms, walking back and forth. It's not efficient. It's not productive. So ideally walk in the room, complete the whole room. You know, that could mean the glass, the tracks, if applicable, the frame, if applicable. So try to knock everything out in a given room or at least a given window at once. Um, so you're not walking back and forth. The last thing is when you're putting screens back, we're obviously going to put screens back with uh, all of the window cleaning appointments we do, carry multiple screens to minimize how long it takes to walk around the property. If we can, you know, if there's 12 screens and you can carry six at a time, you know, it's much more time efficient than carrying one screen at a given time, you know, back and forth between where you set the screens and where you need to put the screen back in. So carry multiple screens at a time. It's going to save a bunch of time putting them back. So those are some tips when it comes to time optimization for window cleaning appointments. Uh, try to uh, complete window cleaning appointments in a time efficient manner without sacrificing quality.